Good morning. This is Renee, the SUV escapee. Um, I have been traveling this whole entire trip in my uh, Equinox, which is doing has been doing really well on gas mileage overall, close to 34 and a half. But today I hit to Oklahoma and golly gee, that wind is just pummeling me and dropping my gas mileage. So I am a little disappointed, but I told my husband I want to be home with an average of 30 miles per gallon. So we'll see if we can make that happen without slowing myself down to a crawl. On to uh, my evening in Dodge City. It was a little... Uh, disappointing um, I guess I thought like I guess others that there would be a little more historic buildings and such there in the city there really was not um, I I did take a, a picture along a street that looked like it could have been a saloon block but every building in that block was empty so the next thing I did was say hey Let's go to a cowboy bar and grill and get something to eat. So I did hit the cowboy bar and grill. I think there was a little bit more to the name than that. In Dodge City. And the food was fantastic. I ordered an appetizer, which was supposed to be five rib bones with um, rings. And when the plate came... I was overwhelmed. I thought, I'm never going to be able to eat all this. All I can say is the ribs were delicious. They brought two kinds of dipping sauce. The onion rings, larger than I'd ever seen. And you could tell they were hand battered and fried. And they were amazing. Uh, lucky for me, there was enough uh, in that serving that I brought for maybe five ribs home. So that was, that was really the extent of what I would kind of marvel at in Dodge City. Um, going back to something I told you I would do earlier, questions that come across my mind that I have to Google. I apologize for the delay, but I did want to look up um, what was the most predominant eye color in the USA. And I would have guessed blue, but it is actually brown, followed by blue. And then I also saw in there the most rare eye colors, which are green, gray, and violet. So I guess I have my question answered there. Today I'm hoping to get, I guess today I would call phase two of my trip. It's uh, the second half, hopefully two days to get to Quartzsite. Um, I'm not sure that there's a whole lot to see along the way. I think I'll be going through Albuquerque. Right now in Oklahoma, it's mostly uh, flatland, um, some cattle, some oil rigs, which are not pumping. So I sort of struggle to see what folks do here for a living. I will say in my travels, I have been blessed to be on roads that do not have a lot of traffic. A lot of trucks, but you know, they're easy to overcome on a four lane because mostly they want to pass me. So I try to be more than accommodating for that. Uh, other than that, uh, as you can see, I've slept very comfortably. The temperature this morning was 31. It was still a bit nippy in here, but I usually just get up and get going, warm up the car, and buy. Uh, I went to Casey's this morning to get a cup of coffee. I'm learning the differences between fuel, too, because there I noticed they had an 88 ethanol, and I thought, I don't know what this is, but I don't need very much gas. I think I'll be okay if I just put a little bit in and it was five gallons so then I told my husband about that and he said you probably just won't get very good gas mileage on that bit and I said well my tank is mixed because I mistakenly put premium in one day and otherwise I've been trying to run um, ethanol 87 like everyone else trying to get by for a cheaper price I will say that 88 was 274 a gallon so I felt like I'll be okay so uh, 
just to give you an idea of my little cocoon back here, I guess I've got my blankets on. I sleep here on uh, what is my right side of the screen, probably will be your left. I've got the whole car packed to the rim. I generally try to keep this seat empty just uh, in the evening if I have to jump out. And then, as you can see, this seat is full of things. I have a little cooler under there, under two jackets. I have all kinds of snacks and treats and water down there. So most everything is right at my fingertips. I did take time this morning to read um, my daily devotional and the Bible because I I usually try to do that every morning and yesterday I forgot since I got up at 5 a.m. so today it had special meaning for me to get back into the Word. I just hope that um, each of you has a chance to find your way into the Word in the Bible and if not 